Welcome back to another video. I am so sorry I haven't been around in such a long time, but I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all having a fabulous, fabulous weekend. And yeah, I'm basically gonna become more consistent on YouTube because I absolutely love it. I've missed filming and editing and uploading videos as much as my internet connection hates my upload. Um, but yeah, I have missed it. I'm so excited. I'm currently just parked up, ready to pick my mum and my sister up. We're gonna go to somewhere near the range and home bargains which i'm really excited for and then for, out for some tea and it is currently thursday by the way thursday evening um almost six o'clock i think so yeah i just need to get everything together and go basically but i wanted to just quickly intro the video make sure everyone's doing okay i'm fine and yeah i'm just really excited on the drive here i was just thinking because like even though it's just the beginning of July and it's like everyone's crazy about summer and hot girl summer and all that jazz but I'm like ready for autumn not gonna lie but yeah my mum and my sister and my little fair nephew are waiting for me so without further ado let's get into the video make sure you've got your snacks your drinks you're snuggled up on the sofa and let's go hello to everyone <laughs> Milo's going a bit crazy because we haven't seen each other in such a long time have we babes <laughs> Has <laughs> sis? <laughs> I know, I know. He's saying hello to the vlog. No, he has no idea what's going on right now. My mum is just currently in the garden with a builder. She apparently really freaked my sister out when she has the door to him, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah, and then we will be going shopping and have some tea. Hey my loves, I am back home after a very what felt like quite rushed in the end i think because i don't know if i said who was at my mum's earlier when i got there she basically had a build around um to assess some work that she needed doing so he basically arrived literally a couple of seconds before i walked through the front door um so yeah we was out a little bit later i didn't get a chance to go to home bargains but that's fine didn't really need a lot because i was only there literally last week um and yeah that's pretty much it we obviously went for it's really dark in here for some reason we went for some food at i can't remember what it's called i'll have to ask my sister um it's like a farmhouse type chain place if that is kind of what makes sense um but anyway it is now five to ten i can't believe the day has gone already i literally made this green tea probably around say 10 a.m this morning i've still got the tea bag and it's stewing but basically what i do is i make it and leave it not usually for this long um and then i get a cup which usually one of these from starbucks just because it tastes nicer um i basically put some ice in here pour the green tea in and then i also have let me show you Right, so I've just filled the cup with ice. I'm using like these bags of ice that you can get from like supermarket or just corner shop co-op-y kind of places. Um, I can't wait till we get our new house, whenever the hell that is going to be. Um, and it's going to have a new kitchen in it. And we're going to have space for a full on fridge freezer american style one and there's the possibility for um it to be like a plumbed one so it has its own access to water so it can be constantly on tap for ice and water which i'm really excited for um yeah and then as i was saying so for the green iced tea just to make it a little bit more like summery i suppose and drinkable um, I've got this still lemonade from m and it's the 750 ml. you can get a bigger bottle but you don't need it because you literally only need, I'm just going to give it a quick shake, you literally only need like a splash of it just to fill the top and then I just make sure I give it a good stir and that's it. And the green tea I use, 
I'm obsessed with this one. It is the Twinings Glow and it is strawberry and cucumber. It is gorgeous. Really, really recommend that. I do also have the Twinings Pure Peppermint Tea. If Canon is going to focus, there we go. Um, this is amazing to have and like really just let it cool down as much as possible and I usually drink it when I'm in bed on a night. I feel like it just, it just like really helps my stomach and all of that just like settle down. I've just seen there's a massive spider over in the corner of that windowsill. Is anybody else getting loads of the really tiny body, big legged spiders? I think it's because of the change in the weather. So obviously it's been hot and now it's just literally raining all the time. You can probably hear it because you're near the conservatory, which anybody that's got a conservatory roof will know that it sounds like it's gonna come through the roof. Anyway, taste test of the green iced tea that has literally been stewing for oh, well, pretty much 12 hours. That's really, really bad. Mm, that's good. Sometimes I feel like I put too much of this in, but it still tastes amazing, but like, then this is all you can taste. But obviously you're getting the benefits of the green tea then. And if you haven't got 12 hours to wait, don't panic, you don't need that long. You could literally make your cup of green tea in a mug, leave it on the side for like half an hour, just so it goes like sort of like warmish, and then put it in the fridge, um, but probably for another half an hour. Obviously the ice is gonna cool it down anyway, so it's so good. I probably shouldn't be drinking iced tea, iced green tea at 10 o'clock at night. I'm pretty sure green tea's got caffeine in it, hasn't it? that's not ideal but never mind now the plan for now is i always make sure i have tidied the kitchen and the living room before i go to bed mainly because they're the two rooms that i mainly use in the morning for my 6am like morning routine obviously making my drinks and my breakfast and like chilling out in the living room so I just find like I don't enjoy my morning routine if them two rooms are messy. So I'm just gonna do a quick tidy in the kitchen, especially. I think the living room isn't too bad. I've barely been in there today. So if it is bad, it's mainly because of Brad, but he's not here to tidy up, so it'll be left to me. And then I always, this is kind of like phase top tips for a great like night routine to lead you into like a quite successful feeling, kind of like, the word productive morning i always then put a wash load on timer so if your washing machine has a timer facility a hundred million percent recommend doing this because by the time you get up and come downstairs for your coffee or whatever in the morning you, you could have your washing so it's already done the cycle and it's ready to put either out on the line if it's not raining or in the tumble dryer or on your radiators or on air as whatever and like that's literally one job ticked off i try and make sure i get one load of washing done every day if it needs it obviously there's days where we don't need to do any on those days i am going to try and do the ironing when that's not needed <sighs> not that that'll happen i literally do ironing once to twice a year and brad will tell you that because i basically don't iron my clothes i only iron his so that's where we're at after i've done all of that i will go do my skincare um have a shower well have a shower do my skincare get in my pajamas and then i will sit in my dressing room and make sure i've done everything on my to-do list for today and then start writing my to-do list for tomorrow because i just feel like when i get up at 6 a.m and do the 6 a.m club in that 15 minutes i write out my gratitudes it always takes me 15 minutes because i like to write real detailed gratitudes like what particular things i'm grateful for and then i go through them all and obviously say thank you for them um and then i go on to reading out my affirmations looking at my visualization boards and then i also go on to reading so you, at the minute i'm just finishing off the magic um so that usually has like a task assigned to it so i do all of that like within the first half an hour so from like six or half six then I will come downstairs, um, sort the washing out, 
usually empty the dishwasher because I'll always, always, I will also put the dishwasher on on an evening as well. Um, just because again, that's another thing I can get up, empty the dishwasher and it is free to put stuff in there all day rather than making lunch and ending up with loads of pots and then having to empty the dishwasher before you can eat and tidy away. It just gets very chaotic, you know, and there's things that you can make your life a little bit easier. So I do that and then I will sit and have a coffee and a banana usually because that is like my pre-workout, what I call anyway. Um, at this point I should already be in my workout clothes because then I can go and do my half an hour workout. And then by like half seven I'm ready to go get a shower, do my skincare, do my makeup, get changed. So that leads me till about eight o'clock and then I will always do a meditation before I come back downstairs again and I will make like a proper breakfast so whether that is having my chocolate chip mini Weetabix which if you follow me on TikTok and watch my what I eat in a day they are usually my go-to breakfast um or sometimes I will have some porridge because I just love a bit of porridge sometimes so yeah that just depends and then I'll have another coffee speaking of coffees I've recently found these goods right if you watch freya you've probably already seen this one in particular it is the nest cafe gold cinnamon bun lattes they're absolutely gorgeous you get eight like sachets in each box and oh, these taste i wouldn't say they taste like a cinnamon bun as such they are very cinnamony so they just the taste of it reminds me of christmas and it just just gets very excited i know that costa coffee usually do like a cinnamon cappuccino on the festive menu and that tastes like i'm having one of them and then the other one that i got is this one and it is vanilla latte these are also really really nice obviously don't taste like christmas but you know just a very quick way to have a coffee if i can't be bothered to use the coffee machine or i haven't got time before like my next call in between work or anything like that i usually have in one of these cinnamon ones to be fair as my first coffee in the morning because it just makes me feel really like warm and fuzzy inside because i'm always so excited for christmas and i noticed on the sky movies they have like the is it like film 24 or something 24 movie 24 something like that and they were playing all christmas movies last night i was literally like and there was one called like 12 days of christmas or something like that so i put it on like i fell asleep with that on in the background and it was amazing um so yeah i got these from tesco's by the way and they were about like one pound 60 or something like that per box so highly recommend especially the cinnamon bun one because if you're like me and love a bit of cinnamon coffee you'll definitely like them oh anyway rather than chatting to you guys which i absolutely love we will have a proper like catch up tomorrow the today is being completely rushed and yeah i haven't obviously spoken to you guys in ages so as this is a couple of days with me i will go into all the details tomorrow i'm gonna get the kitchen and the living room back in order so that tomorrow morning i have a really productive start to the day right now i'm standing in a corner i see you from across the room it's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. So excusing the terrible lighting, I thought I'd come on and do some evening skincare with um, with you all because I feel like we haven't done that in a good old while, you know. 
Now I do always and usually always use my Lumi Spa but I need a new replacement head which I have ordered. It just hasn't arrived. Um, yeah, I literally only ordered it yesterday. So what I am going to do for the first time in a very, very long time is do a double cleanse but using obviously only my hands. Um, I have started using this as the cleanser. Um, I can't remember how updated my last version of skincare was with you girls, but I'm using this L'Oreal Paris, the Cotton All Focus. Um, L'Oreal Paris Fine Fine Flower Makeup Melting Milk for dry and sensitive skin. Um, and it's really, really nice. As you can see, I am literally all the way down here on a 400ml bottle, so, and it's lasted me such a long time. But what I've been doing is doing the first cleanse with my hands and then the second cleanse with the Lumi Spa. Um, and it's been an absolute dream, but obviously, I need a new Lumi Spa, so I'm gonna have to do both like this until my Lumi Spa head arrives. I honestly, I'm gonna feel so, so lost without it, and I'm probably gonna break out in loads of spots, but universe, if you're listening, please keep my skin healthy, glowy, and spot free. So with this, it is supposed to be used as like one of those that you apply on a cotton pad and then you don't have to rinse off. But I basically massage it all over my face and then I use a clean face cloth that I'm just gonna wear. I think I'm just gonna like wash my hands. Sorry, I'm having to use my viewfinder as my mirror because my mirror is over there and it's all steamed up from me having my shower. I can't wait, I know I'm gonna say this like a million, million, million times, but I cannot wait until we move house because we have so many plans for so many things that we don't have in this house and I absolutely cannot wait. So like we're gonna get one of those mirrors that like, doesn't steam up, it like de-steams itself, has a light on so the lighting will be better. Um, what was I saying in the kitchen earlier? I can't remember. Right, so that is cleanse one done. I don't know why I just dried my face because I'm just about to wash it again. So back in with this. I have also just ordered the gel version of this cleanser just because it comes in a smaller tube and then when I go away, um, take the gel version with me um, but I will try the gel version first like when it arrives just to make sure it doesn't break me out or anything because I get on really well with this one also I know there's a lot of people that are probably like oh god's sake but who is watching Love Island um, obviously the UK version which is on at the minute the chances of there being a Faye and a Brad and then coupling up on the first night like if you, if you knew from around here obviously my name's Faye and my partner who is my job today is for Brad so I was just like the irony the other manager that I work with was like how cool is that going to be if that happens and then it happened I was like oh my god but rest assured I am not that today <laughs> She is absolutely gorgeous. Not to put myself down, but obviously um, our bodies are completely different. But yeah, let me know if you're watching in the comments, who's your favorite? I don't want any hate against anybody because I mean, hashtag be kind. There's no need for it. But yeah, who's your favorites? What are you loving about it at the minute? I think my favorites is Hugo, he is like just the best ever, isn't he? So like cute and down to earth. Yeah. Um I'm also loving Liberty. Like I hope Jake doesn't drop her off and if Casa and More happens, 
I'm hoping he doesn't like stray away because I think they're such a good couple but I'm kind of getting a bit like oh, I don't know if she should trust him kind of thing and um, next thing that I usually go in with but again like the Loomis part I need a replacement um is this Sunday Riley Good Jeans Glycolic Acid. It is absolutely amazing. It is like a serum that you put on after you've cleansed. So at the minute what I am doing, which I know is super like unhygienic, but needs must, you know, when you're at the bottom, it's not gonna cause that much of a problem because there's barely anything in here. I am scraping it out the only bad thing about it but obviously is very luxurious is because it's made out of like glass you can't like squeeze the end bits in and there's quite a lot of product that gets stuck at the bottom which is really annoying so when i get into bed i am gonna order a replacement for that because i haven't done that yet i was just concerned about my lip whisper last night um, so yeah, there was barely anything of that, but I swear to God, this has stopped my breakouts. And you can see, because I ran out of this about a week ago, I just haven't, I've just been like scraping it out at the minute. And I got these breakouts because it's TMI, I am due on, but like, you know, when you have like them days before and like nothing happens, but you just get the mood swings, really hungry and backache and spots. Like I'm at that stage at the minute. And I have been using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and I use that day and night. I don't use the Charlotte Tilbury Night Cream. I just use the Magic Normal Cream for both. But I ran out and I found on TikTok that this was supposed to be a dupe for it. <laughs> there we go. And this is the Revolution uh, Protecting Boost protection intense spf 13 normal to dry moisturizer and i can say like the consistency of it this is a lot more runnier um but in terms of how it feels on the skin and giving you like that glass look that everybody says that you get with the magic cream i do think this gives that and in comparison this is only 10 pound for a tub whereas the magic cream i think was like 40 pound or something like that so Obviously a massive but price difference, so for the consistency being not even like runny, like it doesn't fall out of the tub, but it's just not as like thick as the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it still, still does the job. I have got a spot somewhere along my nose, which is why my nose is so red. It isn't sunburn. And then another thing that I've ordered um, a refill on, obviously I've literally like ran out of all my skincare, so Here's me saying, oh yeah, let me show you my latest skincare. And I can't because it's all run out. Um, but I use this as well, which, there we go. It is the New Skin True Face Line Corrector. If you've been on my channel for a while, you will know this was like my Nana's ride or die product to make sure that her wrinkles were reducing day by day and she absolutely loved it. I absolutely love it because lines on my head, around my eyes and around my mouth, like my skin feels so, so firm and in place, but I have just run out of that as well. So I have kept it so that I can remember to order a replacement, which I actually did when I ordered the Lumi Spa Head. So I will have that tomorrow. So at the minute, I literally just cleanse my skin and put some moisturizer on. That's the most basic thing ever. I don't use toner anymore, I just, I just don't get on with toners, they all sting my face regardless of if I use like a sensitive one or whatever I use, they just they just don't work with my skin very well. Um, the new skin ones that I was using were alright, I didn't get like stung skin but I also didn't feel any sort of benefit whatsoever, I still feel like my cream sinks into my skin, like I'll probably go back to using them but at the minute, at the minute I just don't see the point in it. Right, I need to brush my teeth. Tell me what you wanna do. Baby, let me love you, let me love you. Let me love you, let me love you. Baby, let me love you, let me love you. Let me love, let me love. Baby, let me love you. Okay, my dears, so 
so it is now actually Monday. Now I know my couple of days of me maybe hasn't even gone to plan. I can't actually even remember the last time the last time we even spoke, like the when did I last pick my camera up? I can't remember. Like that's how crazy my week has gone. And I think because obviously we had the Euro final match, or the final match of the Euro, should I say, um, last night. And it, obviously we didn't win, um, being England, but like to get to the final is pretty amazing, isn't it? And I think, yeah, with the whole run up to get into that point and just, I just had a lot of stuff going on last week, you know, like I even went strawberry picking and everything and like why I didn't pick up the camera and take you along with me, I do not know, but we are planning on going next week. So hopefully that goes to plan and hopefully the weather picks up and we'll be able to go and do that. Um... But I'm having a little bit of one of those days which is where I was back about a couple of months ago where I just feel really deflated, really tired, really just no energy and I don't even have that kind of boost as wanting to do something for myself if that makes sense so I can't even get out of my mood to help myself so with that said when i was writing out my gratitudes earlier on um and they were a lot later like i didn't do them first thing this morning which again i think is another thing that is why i didn't start my day great and i also didn't do the 6am club this morning either so mainly because we had a really late night due to the football last night but i'm not using that as an excuse i should have still got up and done my 6am club done all my gratitudes my affirmations like i usually do because that has got me out of the slump before but because i didn't when i was writing down my gratitudes i kind of came up with this like what i am actually grateful for and it's such a kind of like light bulb moment i just kind of wanted to share it with you because i am going to do what i said in my gratitudes list this this like when i filled it in i am going to do that this evening and i just or i already know it's going to work so i basically said so one of the things that i put that i'm grateful for and a lot of the things that you like this is kind of written as if it's in it's been and done if that makes sense you've got to be grateful for it as if it's already yours so i read i am grateful for how amazing my day has been today it has been so relaxed i've been able to get things sorted in our home and focusing on giving myself a good energy and doing the things that i want to do to make me do the things that i need to do so with that said <laughs> It is now a quarter past five, so I've just finished work for the day. It has been pretty hectic because I've been like a one man band today, but it's been fine. It's not been like too insane, nothing drastic's happened, so I'm still sticking to that relaxed vibe. Um, in my lunch break, which I took extremely late today, I managed to get some food and then I dusted all of this room that we're in now so my dressing room slash office room just because I felt like when a place that I'm working in isn't clean I just I'm such a procrastinator and it just doesn't vibe with me at all so I dusted it all so my desk and everything is all super super clean which makes me feel 10 times better already and then I went into the bedroom I made the bed I sprayed the bed so it's going to smell really lovely when we get in it tonight and open the curtains and all of that jazz um, but there is still the kitchen to tidy and clean and also the living room because there's just stuff absolutely everywhere. I think because we haven't spent as much time in the house over the weekend, like things have just piled up and it's just got a bit chaotic. But knowing that I've got all them jobs to do and also me being in that kind of slump mode, some of you girls will understand what I'm talking about. As I'm saying, I kind of think, does this make sense? 
but I'm sure it does. I'm sure if you're just not already in the mood and then you realise there is all of them jobs to do, like you just put them to the bottom of the list, like you just procrastinate to a whole other level. So what I've basically said in my gratitudes this morning was that I'm going to do the things that I want to do because that's going to give me the good vibes and the good energy to go and do the stuff that I need to do. So the stuff that I need to do is cleaning and tidying of the house. It's going to make me feel better, but I just, I'm just not vibing with those tasks right now because I just have no energy to look after myself right now. So I am going to drive to Starbucks, get myself the best iced latte, with a sugar-free caramel and skinny milk because that is my jam and I am going to I was going to say pull up and watch the sunset it's extremely cloudy and you know when you get like the orange sun it's just not that today it's just not that so I'm just going to go and drive it's about a 15 minute drive from where I am and have to go through like loads of country roads which is just absolutely beautiful at this time of night so I'm just going to go and enjoy the drive you know um drive home with my Starbucks living my best life give myself all of those positive vibes I'm also going to put on a podcast which let me show you the one that I am just obsessed with at the moment if you've been around for a while you will know that this is what I have been like listening to for such a long time now so if you can if you can see it on the screen there it is called Law of Attraction Change My Life it's by Francesca Amber and she is amazing she has totally changed my life from me listening to her podcast she uploads every Friday and oh, she's like you need to start from the bottom and work your way up. I fell in love with it that much that I binge watched and literally watched, listened to a year's worth of her content, probably within the space of a couple of, like probably a couple of weeks, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, she's just uploaded episode 52, which marks her, obviously, her full year of doing podcasts, which is so, so cool. But honestly, if you are a girl who knows what um, the law of attraction is, and you just want to get better at it, you want to attract more of the good vibes and the stuff that you really want in your life, but you're just not sure on how to do it and what the next step is, you need to listen to her podcast. She also has a Patreon, which she goes on about in her podcast, and it's where you can like sign up and get into like a book club with all of the people. I don't do that just yet, just because I was already in the middle of um, reading the magic also good vibes good life and also vex king's new book so i've kind of got three books on the go at the minute which is crazy i should just pick one up at a time but i can't i'm just impatient so i'm just waiting until i've finished all of those and then i will be joining the book club because i'm obsessed with her and i feel like the results that the girls who are in that book club and within her patreon just get incredible results so I'm going to do that and obviously if you want to wait and see what results I get then I will absolutely let you all know. But yeah I just wanted to have a bit of a catch up and a chit chat about how I'm feeling and how I have been feeling and like how I am um, coming to terms with making sure that I give myself the stuff I need and the time I want and the fun activities I like to do so that it gives me those kind of vibes and energy so that I can do the stuff that I actually need to do and maybe the stuff I don't really want to do as much but because I'm full of all the good stuff and enjoying my life and I've treated myself in some way shape or form then I kind of think yeah you know what I can get this house cleaned within an hour no problem get on with doing it and it's done and then I feel 10 times better because obviously a clean tidy home I think it's just like a clean tidy mind a clean tidy like you sleep better for sure um so yeah that's where i'm at and i am sure i am not alone you're never alone in any situation so if you are someone who has been struggling with 
just not being able to get out of a slump then write down everything that so this is another thing write down everything that you think is going to make you happy so this is another top tip because when you're then feeling like this you don't want to then think right what's going to make me happy what can i go and do um i have a list of and i have titled it living life activities okay and things on here so i've put things in bold that aren't going to cost any money and I've also left things in normal font which are going to cost either a little bit of money or, you know, are going to be quite expensive. Um, so things like just going to the beach. Going to the beach in an evening is completely different to going to the beach in the day, I think, so I've written that out as well. Um, walk around a lake. You could also go to the Peak di District or a Columba Park, which that's quite close-ish, close, well, close -ish, I think, to me. Um, obviously, if you've got other parks near you, then you can go there. Um, play tennis, play mini golf, go for a picnic in a park, drive to Starbucks, get up and watch the sunrise, go somewhere to watch the sunset, tie-dye a top slash socks or some sort of clothing, go to the cinema, go bowling, go to a coffee shop, go out for dinner, go for just a really nice long walk, bake some cookies, buy myself some beautiful flowers, you can go to a trampoline park, go rock climbing, go swimming, go to a go ape, go strawberry picking and honestly this list goes on and on and on. So when I am in one of these slumps I literally just open that list, decide whether I have any budget or I want to spend some money or I don't and I want to do something for free. Um, and then it's just like less pressure if like one of your issues that has got you in a slump is money related you could just literally write a list of all three things you know do that instead and then you don't have to think about it you can just go onto your list find something that is maybe just it's just something that you're going to vibe with like going to a trampoline park right now is absolutely nowhere near going to make me happy I'm going to get there and be like really so yeah but when i'm already full of energy and i want to do something fun for myself to get me even like more hyped then going to a trampoline park would be really good do you see what i mean um so yeah that's definitely a top tip of mine is make sure you write down a full list of loads of things that you are gonna find really fun and really lift your energy and lift your vibes and make sure you do at least one of them every single day even if you're not in a slump you need to keep your energy going so don't feel because you're having a really good day that you don't need to treat yourself to going for a walk on the beach or something like that make sure you make the time for you to keep your energy high um, so I feel like I have rabbited on for quite a while now, so I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to go drive to Starbucks, get my iced coffee and bring you guys along with me. And then we're going to get on with the cleaning, which I'm not thinking about at the minute because it's kind of scaring me. I am very sorry to each and every single one of you gorgeous girls because I forgot to take my camera with me. I think I was that excited to... Go and have some me time driving in the countryside and get in best starbucks in the world oh there's a little cat running in my garden and it's chucking it down oh babes as i was saying i have got a sugar-free ice latte with sugar-free caramel no i've got a skinny ice latte with sugar-free caramel should i say and it is absolutely the most amazing and let me tell you there was the most amazing guy that was on um that was at the Starbucks that I went to tonight. He was so lovely. He asked me how I was when I first got to the um, like drive-through speaker and was having a good old chat. And then he was like, so what can I start making for you? He was like, oh, it was just what I needed, you know? And I kind of think everything happens for a reason. So I was having a slumpy, old, not in the zone kind of day and all of a sudden this guy has made me feel on top of the world because i chose to do something fun today to make my life totally different to yesterday not that yesterday was a bad day but just to live my life every single day i as i was explaining before choosing something from my living life activity list 
and I chose to go to Starbucks today. So that guy was brought into my life, manifested him without even realizing I needed him because he put such a smile on my face. Bless his little heart. Um, and he makes the best iced lattes. So thank you very much, Mr. Starbucks man. Sending you lots of love and I hope you have a lovely evening when you finish your shift. Meanwhile, it is absolutely trucking it down, as I just said, because that little poor cat was getting absolutely soaked. And as I stepped out of my car into the house, it was lightning, which is just great. Um, I have got 19 minutes on the podcast that I was listening to, and I hate leaving them and rejoining them because I always forget what was said before. Um, they're usually only half an hour, so I can usually get to Starbucks and back and listen to a whole podcast because Francesca always like has them for about half an hour but this one is 50 minutes and she's on it with her sister which is actually quite nice and it's talking all about like all different things to do with law of attraction but she's also said like you wanted to start a podcast then go ahead and do it and like I've just been sat in the car thinking like what a good idea that would be like to link in with you girls and you could listen to me and we could do something in particular for living that positive best life on a podcast and then we can catch up on the vlogs on YouTube and we've got then Instagram and TikTok for all the fun of fashion foodie bits in between like that'd be the best life ever sorry if all you can hear is the rain <laughs> it's absolutely hammering it down so yeah I am going to get on with cleaning in the kitchen there is all sorts of stuff everywhere absolutely delightful we also had dominoes yesterday before the England match and also if you come into my fridge we went strawberry picking yesterday as I said and we have the biggest tub of strawberries ever in here. So the plan is I'm going to put my tea on now so I can eat my tea, listen to the last, I think it was like 15 to 19 minutes, whatever it was, of the podcast. Listen to all of that in peace, eating my tea and then get on with the cleaning afterwards. That is such a plan. I will put you girls on a time lapse as soon as I start tidying. But let me know in the comments below if you think a positive vibes, living your best life podcast is a good idea. Let me know. Just say the word and we can leave this place. I'll take you anywhere you want. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am here again on another day. I'm really not into this whole vlogging routine and I will be, I will get there. I promise these are going to get so much better, but I just, I don't even know what happened last night. What did happen? I know I ate my tea and then I started tidying and then I think I had, did something else anyway and then I ended up watching Love Island at nine o'clock, which was great because I weren't like behind and I could stay in all of the group chats without having to mute them and check on them afterwards. So that was great. But then I only had like half an hour to get myself like showered, wash my hair and sort myself out basically before Brad got home so that we could sit and catch up on EastEnders because that's what we love to do on an evening either an EastEnders or a series of some kind we are currently re-watching Peaky Blinders I know many people have already done like the re-watch and probably the re-watch of the re-watch um, because there's supposed to be another series coming out god knows when but I just kind of like I can't even remember half the stuff that happens so it's definitely worth a rewatch if you've watched it already and you're ready to watch the new one. Oh, this iced coffee is definitely needed today. I only just have one of those days at work where I genuinely thought it was almost Friday 
at about lunchtime today and then the realization hit me that it is only Tuesday and I was like oh my god but on the plus side I did do 6am club this morning I was up at the crack of dawn to do that and I felt so good for doing it I got all my gratitudes my affirmations my visualization I meditated I do a whole hour where I basically just focus on me myself and I and it makes me feel really really good so I think I spoke about this last night before I drove to and um, before I drove to Starbucks and I basically said how you need to really give yourself that time out to focus on your own energy and then it's easier to do all of the things that aren't maybe on the top of your priority list etc so yeah that's what I do when I do my 6am club. It's maybe worth me doing an entire vlog just on like an actual routine um, a morning with me and I can show you all the ins and outs of it because honestly it's just taken me to a whole other level and I absolutely love it. Right, I need to do a quick kitchen clean up because we've had breakfast, lunches, coffees and everything has just been left out because I've been that busy um, at work today. And then I'm going to get on and make some tea because I'm just really hungry today. I'm having a really, really hungry day. I was supposed to get my nails done today, but she's having issues with the power. So I'm going to go tomorrow night. So I shall bring you along with us then. This couple of days is turning into like a week long vlog, by the way, if you haven't gathered already, just because I am absolutely terrible at vlogging that it would literally be about two minutes long if I just did it as a couple of days. So we're going to just keep going until I feel like that's it we'll stop and then we'll restart a new one um so yeah quick tidy up then i'm gonna make my tea i'm actually having a burrito bowl tonight which is super super yummy i will show you exactly how to make it it's so quick and easy as well then i am gonna go get in the shower i also looking in the viewfinder right now i'm terribly white i haven't got any makeup on like work have to deal with me looking like this nowadays I do apologise for the state of me throughout this probably entire vlog because I don't think I've worn makeup much um, throughout but yeah I'm thinking maybe put some fake tan on and then it'll probably be time to watch Love Island and wait for Brad to get home. So cheers to that everyone. Tell me what you want to do. Baby let me love you. Oh my god i'm so not having a good luck with my camera and vlogging experience this week girls i just had an sd card problem so just ran upstairs to get the new one and now we're all sorted but i have pretty much sorted the kitchen as you can see everything's back in its place which is good so basically i have got a single chicken breast just defrosted in here um, and we're going to make the burrito bowl that I was telling you about. Um, I don't have any onions and peppers, which I would usually cook the chicken with. But I think because I'm just cooking for myself, I completely forgot that I needed those ingredients. So it is just going to be a plain, simple chicken cooked with fajita seasoning. So I'll show you that in a second. Let's get this chicken cut. Let me love, let me love, baby, let me love. So that is the chicken all cooked so i've just got a frying pan here and i'm just going to use some of the fry lye olive oil and spritz the inside of this pan just like so I feel like i'm on a cooking show and then i'm going to heat that up and then we're going to put the chicken in there with some fajita seasoning once it's almost cooked now you can get various different fajita seasonings this is the one that i get i just find it super convenient like you don't have to put a lot of thought into it you just put some new seasoning on your chicken you know so i'm gonna get this chicken cooking it takes as long as it takes girls i don't want food poisoning so i'm not gonna tell you a time 
you just need to cook your chicken until it's completely cooked and when i say cooked that means it is white all the way through you see no pink whatsoever so it could take 10 minutes it could take 15 it could take 20 it could take longer it could take less probably not any less but yeah you get the style <laughs> in your eyes i don't know how but it feels like i'm drunk on you it's almost like you make me fly when it's looking almost cooked you're gonna put in a splash of olive oil so i've got this one you can get any sort of olive oil it doesn't have to be mns one i think i just picked this up one day when i was in mns so literally the tiniest bit probably like a, te a teaspoon um, just so that when you pour the fajita seasoning into there, it'll all kind of stick to it a lot better. Um, and I have also got the Tilda Caribbean rice and peas um, microwave bag. So I'm just going to tear open the corner and put this in the microwave for two minutes and that will make up half of the meal and whilst i've been waiting for the chicken to cook i have also made up a little salad so i've kind of left that to one half of the bowl and then we'll put the rice in this half and you will also need some salsa to go on the top as well as some guacamole so i got these from morrison's and they're on two for two pound at the minute and I've also just grated some cheese to also sit on top. So the best part is the actual construction of the burrito bowl. So I'm going to put the rice in the microwave, leave that simmering for a little bit longer, put the olive oil and the fajita seasoning in, and then by the time that this is done, the chicken will be done too. Okay, so that is what the chicken looks like after the olive oil and the fajita seasoning. It's all sizzling away. I'm going to turn that off because our rice is ready. It is literally... Oh, it is literally all go in the kitchen. So, let's get this burrito bowl constructed. When I look at you smile, I don't know how, but it feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. It feels like I'm drunk on you. And there we have it, honeys. The most amazing burrito bowl you will ever taste in your entire life. Honestly, it is an absolute 10 out of 10. If you have peppers and onions to add to the chicken mix, then absolutely do it. It just books it out a little bit more. Um, but otherwise, without just a chicken breast is absolutely perfect. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have 
to wake up yet We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon Kenny G saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone Shut the lights, go in for a ride oh, We can spend all day in Your favorite music on all the way baritone Shut the lights, go in front girls and best friends out there i just thought i would show you a very simple outfit of the day this is a h&m um basically really oversized top to be honest um and then i've just got some primark um it's like their workout range cycling shorts but they're just like they don't go see-through or anything so they're perfect for outfits like this i am just in the process of getting ready to go and get my nails done but how nice is my tan i feel like a bronze goddess what is going on with my hair i don't think that fixed it no it didn't yeah i am literally going to set off in a second because i always take when i can and when i've got time to um me and jenna who is my friend who does my nails i always take the diet coke from mcdonald's because it's more of a like catch up session than going to get my nails done obviously i do get my nails done but i just love her and she's like my best friend so we just have a good old catch up um i'm just in the process of taking some befores for my tiktok which i always do and like my instagram reel when i go and get my nails done because it's just like the best transformation for, um video ever excuse the camera battery but they are just the grossest nails you have ever seen i won't um keep them on screen for much longer um but yeah it takes me about 15 minutes to get to her salon yeah as i was saying it takes around 15 minutes to get um over to her salon and i've got about 45 minutes now um obviously i need to go to mcdonald's as well to get the diet cokes so i am gonna get ready and get set off in a minute because the mcdonald's i is nearest and is the one on my way to her how uh, to her salon is always really busy like mainly on a friday so because it's thursday we should be all right but it's usually just just a mess um now i did start um editing this vlog this morning when i got up um nice and early and i thought now it is all over the place obviously if you've made it this far thank you well done um <laughs> 
I just I just apologize massively for how crazy and all over the place it has been and to be honest in terms of like what really annoys me is because I watch loads of other girls do vlogs and they do such an incredible job of it and they've all got really nice homes and our home like I just don't vibe I don't vibe with these kind of cupboards the tiles or anything and I never have but we never said we always said that we would just leave it as it is it's a functioning working kitchen like there's nothing wrong with it it's clean it's tidy and it does its job um, and we would always spend our money whenever we move to our next house and that's basically what we're doing we're getting like a brand new kitchen in our next house and I cannot tell you how excited I am for that because then my background is always going to be nice and white and fresh and modern and it's going to be everything that I love so I think I'll fall more in love with doing my videos in my new house as well but that is literally going to be I was talking to Brad about it earlier it's probably like we're looking more next year guys to be honest because it's an awkward situation and i can't i haven't got time to go into it right now and right this second but the house that we are potentially buying we're not going to be able to get in there until at least the end of october at which point we've still then got to sell our house which we won't put ours on until we know we are definitely moving into that house and then we need to find builders get a kitchen design, a bathroom design, because it needs a whole new bathroom as well, which I'm not mad about. Like, I am actually quite excited about us using all our, like, savings and stuff on all of this nice stuff for our new house. Um, and then I'm not going to be moaning about the decor and stuff like that, which we know, and we have always known that we don't want to spend our money on in this house. So basically what I'm saying is, this vlog is all over the place. I don't like my backdrop in the majority of the scenes that you've um, experienced already. This is probably the best one if that door shuts, because it's mainly white, bright, airy, like, this is the vibe we're going for in the new house, okay? Um, I am absolutely starving and I've got a freezer meal for my tea, um, which literally just goes in the microwave for like five minutes or something like that. So I can't wait to have that when I get home and demolish my Diet Coke whilst I'm at Jenna's. I think I'm just going to go for a basic French manicure. Hmm, or maybe just a beigey neutral colour um, and I'm going to get them quite short because the last couple of times I've had quite long nails put on and they just don't last very long on me. I need them to be quite short and sweet so I don't catch them on everything. Let's go get these nails done. we are back home i've got my nails done i don't know if you're going to be able to see them very well let me do them on this wall how beautiful are they i absolutely love them i just basically wanted something super plain i wanted french but then i also wanted beige and then i also wanted nude so this was like the perfect in between it's just like a sheer over the top of acrylic and i absolutely love it it's amazing um, I've got home, as you can see, I've taken my makeup straight off, put my hair up and out of my face. Um, I've also got this same, um, what's it called? Like night dress, night t-shirt. I know, it's one of the Disney Primark ones. I live in these things on an evening. Um, I've put the same one that I had on last night because of all the transfer from the tan. Um, and I usually find that even though I have showered today, um, I still get a bit of like excess transfer for some reason. It's like tan doesn't stick to my body. So I've just put this same one on again just to save getting another 
one covered in tan before it goes in the wash. Um, I've also used the Saint Tropez Facial Mist Self Tanner because um, obviously I've cleansed all my makeup off. Um, and I've had my eyebrows waxed as well, so it'll have taken the fake tan that I put on my face off. So I've just spritzed my face, which is why it looks quite glowy. Um, it is now 10 past, or just gone 10 past nine, and um, it, that means it's Love Island time. So, sorry, my camera charger seems to be in every bloody video today. Um, I've got some sweet and salty popcorn, which I'm not going to eat this whole bag. Um, I've just got it out so I can weigh some out, and then Brad can have some when he gets home as well. And I've also got a blackcurrant iced water because I'm so thirsty and it is so hot again. Anyway, I'm going to go watch Love Island, eat my snacks and drink my drink. So I'm going to go ahead and conclude this vlog right here, guys and girls. It is Wednesday evening, so I am going to start... Um, next week's vlog from tomorrow so I can have all from Thursday over the weekend um, I'm pretty much up to this point next week um, and then I can get it all edited and uploaded on Sundays for you all going forward I am aiming to do vlogs every Sunday and then as and when I uh, get the availability to do any sort of like hauls or anything like that's not like that I don't want to put into a vlog like I love doing my clean with me videos and stuff like that I'll put them up on Wednesdays so keep an eye out on my Instagram and I'll let you know when there's going to be that extra upload but for now I'm just going to stick to my Sunday uploads and get consistent with that for you guys because I love it and I've missed it so much it's been so fun chatting to you all all week long and yeah I can't wait for next week so I will love you and leave you and see you in the next one Bye. I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone.